Tonight's District 3 constituents heard directly from El Paso Children's Hospital at a town hall meeting, but it wasn't who they expected. ABC 7's Ash Rodriguez attended. She's live with those details. And Ashley, what happened? Rep. Emma Acosta planned this town hall two months ago and even confirmed with Children's three times since then. But today, the CEO canceled. And as you can imagine, people who were looking forward to speaking with him weren't too happy. Our, our recent cuts impacting the revenue. Mediation, mismanagement, and taxpayer money. All topics El Paso Children's physician in chief Brad Furman was hammered with by a room of taxpayers who were expecting a QA with his boss, CEO Mark Herbers. Well, we're paying the bill for the Children's Hospital right now, and we don't know what's happening, what, what's going on with the negotiations with UMC, and what the county's going to do about uh, the Children's Hospital. What's, what's happening? We understand that they filed bankruptcy, but we don't have any details. We planned it in May. We, we wanted to confirm that he was going to be here. We did it in May. We did it in June. Although Rep Acosta had just confirmed with the CEO a week ago, it wasn't until the day of his staff told her he left town early for 4th of July. And they really need, wanted to talk to the CEO and say, you know, they wanted to hear that the Children's Hospital is going to continue. The constituents, you know, we did pass the bond to build the Children's Hospital. And so we believe that we have a fiduciary responsibility to actually hear that the, that the Children's Hospital will continue to operate. And it will, according to Furman. The Children's Hospital will continue to deliver the best of care. Herbers is under a lot of scrutiny since the third mediation with University Medical Center failed, leaving the fate of the hospital, which filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and a $100 million debt UMC says it owes in the hands of a judge. But Furman was there to get the message across. They are not paying the hospital's bills. Those are paid out of patient revenues, but the county is not paying for the operation of the hospital. The county pays for a service uh, on the uh, bond issue, and that would not have changed regardless of what had happened with, uh, with El Paso Children's. Acosta says she plans on rescheduling the town hall with Herbers this fall. Back to you. All right, we'll be there. Ashley, thank you very much for the latest. Please say a